Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Hey, everybody, welcome and good morning. Hello, welcome to Option Pit. I'm Andrew Avanazzi, Chief Operating Officer. Boot camp starts June 9th, which is Tuesday. Tuesday was a Thursday, Saturday, I believe. This will be on the, um, for all of you, this is a way to gain entry into Option Pit. Um, to basically, we kind of walk you through an intensive order um, how to understand an option position, analyze it, put uh, option positions on, and manage them. Okay. Um, and from either just protecting portfolio type positions or just learning how to use the wheel and sell puts and be a little strategic about when you enter, okay? And understanding about how to exit, all right? It is a great, um, for all Option Pit Live and Above students, it's free, okay? And for them should be a, a review, all right? But it's a way to get a lot of information at once. All right, so what do we got here? One thing uh, Mark and I have been saying uh, recently is, you know, I guess the simple thing, all right, we got oil is rallying a little bit because the dollar's plunging because I guess the European creditors, uh, they, they have a Greek deal out there. Um, all right, uh, let's see how, okay, so VIX cash yesterday, and we had this discussion in our, um, our gold lab, obvious, uh, as well. So for all of you who are Option Pit Live gold members and above that are looking at our content, um, we discussed how, whoops, I'm going to mute everybody here. Uh, bah, 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 bah. All right. We discussed, right, last night how volatility works. Okay, this is something we do in the gold lab. We have topics discuss the topic in detail, right? And today we're kind of seeing it play out. Like yesterday I said, as the vol's getting, or VIX and cash kind of move closer together, that to me means you're gonna see a little bit of realized vol in the short term, but the market doesn't think that volatility is gonna to rise too high, right? Now, right now you've got the VIX is up 86 cents and the futures are barely moving. Right, and let's see if we looked at some future prices here. Right, I've got a 1490 June, 1592 July, and I, the VIX cash is sitting right there. So, what's been happening over the last couple of days is the short-term futures have been hanging around like the 15 level, right? Basically, pricing almost a one percent move, and not leaving from that level. And the cash has been moving up and down. And the reason why is everybody's waiting for something to happen in Greece, right? Get past this thing with the EU, right? Get through non-farm payrolls. It's the same. We see this thing kind of cyclically. Uh, Greece, it has, seems to be happening every six months. It's been on the front burner now since the, uh, the Sears party, you know, took power. So we'll start to see a little bit more out of that. But what we, what, what happened is, is, well, you start to worry about a bigger move if we actually can get a cross, right, where this VIX cash gets go start blowing through that June future, and this term structure you see here starts getting real flat, okay? We're just not there yet. Okay. We're at a we're at a market that looks like it it is pricing to move back to all time highs if the grease thing works out if it gets solved okay or we sell off a little bit or maybe one percent or more 
if there's no if there's no resolution, the market hates uncertainty, vol is going to get bid. So we're kind of in this weird zone with this, right? This weird area. Okay, we're right at a crux of having vol move because we're not moving enough yet to drive that uh, implied vol higher, right? Which is essentially what we got. Uh, as far as individual names, the only thing that really looks like it's moving today, right? They sold the cues off a little bit again. They're all running at their highs anyway. But as far as like a, a sell-off goes, I don't really see, um, you know, you're not seeing like a, a total bloodbath here in all the names. Some of the tech names are selling off because they're at all-time highs. Again, we see the Goldman trade that we like. Notice how the ball keeps going up in there. Um, but other than that, it doesn't look awful yet. What it does is it looks like a market looking for a resolution. And we could see the VIX down to maybe 12 and a half if we do get some kind of resolution. Because there'll be a big sigh of relief, and then all of a sudden everybody realizes we're moving into summer. And we're going to have, it's going to take us at least another month, right? Four weeks before earnings start to roll out. Right? And that's what we got. So I expect there to be some movement short term. And if we get any kind of resolution, they're going to kill them all, right? Supposedly that should be happening by Friday. All right, everybody. And that's what I see today. Some trades we could look at, uh, maybe looking to fade that move in the euro a little bit. It seems like it's bouncing on hoping it more than anything else. Um, and we'll take a look at volatility in some of the oil stocks. Uh, mostly, again, we have this rally today on just the dollar getting creamed a little more than anything else. So we can look at all that stuff today. All right, everybody, I will talk to you all in the chat and throughout the day. Bye-bye.